Oxycodone is an opioid medication that has been used in the medical field for decades to treat pain. It is one of the most commonly prescribed pain medications, and is available in both immediate release and extended release forms. However, it is also subject to abuse and misuse, and can cause serious side effects. In this video, we will discuss the uses, side effects, and precautions associated with oxycodone, so you can make an informed decision when considering taking this medication. We will also discuss how to minimize the risks associated with taking oxycodone and how to recognize if you or someone you care about is misusing the drug. By understanding the facts about oxycodone, you can make sure it is used safely and effectively. What is oxycodone? Oxycodone is a controlled substance that is used to treat moderate to severe pain. It has also been used to treat cough and shortness of breath. It is a semi-synthetic opioid derived from codeine. It is available in immediate release and extended release forms. This medication is used in combination with other drugs for certain medical conditions. You should not take this medicine if you have a history of drug or alcohol abuse or addiction. This drug is different from other opioids because it is believed to be less likely to cause breathing problems. However, it is also more likely to cause addiction. If you have chronic pain, it is important that you discuss the use of oxycodone with your doctor. Your doctor will want to carefully evaluate your medical history and determine if this is the best treatment option for you. You may also want to discuss the risks and benefits of this drug with a pain management doctor. Uses of Oxycodone Chronic Pain Oxycodone is often used to treat chronic pain that is not caused by cancer. The drug can be helpful if you have pain that persists or worsens over time despite other pain treatments. Cancer Pain this drug can relieve pain that is caused by cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. Breakthrough pain. This is a sudden and intense pain that occurs despite taking other medications. Cough and shortness of breath. This drug is also used to treat a cough that is related to an ongoing disease, such as COPD or emphysema, or one that occurs with breathing tubes. Palliative care. This is a type of care that focuses on providing relief from symptoms related to a serious illness. It is often used for people who are dying. Side effects of oxycodone. Dizziness or lightheadedness. You may feel dizzy or lightheaded when you take this medication. This may be more common when you first start taking the drug. Drinking alcohol or standing up too quickly when you are taking this medication can increase your risk of feeling dizzy. You may want to avoid driving or performing other tasks that require you to be alert when you first start taking this drug. Nausea or vomiting. You may experience nausea or vomiting when taking this drug, especially if you take it while experiencing nausea or vomiting. You may be more likely to experience these side effects if you take oxycodone while sitting or lying down, or if you take the extended release form. Taking the drug with food or antacids may help inhibit nausea and vomiting. Constipation. Taking oxycodone may cause constipation, which is defined as having fewer than three bowel movements each week. If you experience constipation while taking this drug, you can try eating fiber-rich foods, drinking more water, and exercising. If these strategies do not help, you may want to speak with your doctor about taking a laxative or stool softener. Itching. You may experience itching when taking this drug. While itching is not a rare side effect, it is often mild and goes away as your body adjusts to the medicine. You may want to try taking an antihistamine to help reduce itching. Sleepiness. Taking this drug may cause drowsiness or sleepiness, especially when taken with other medications, alcohol, or in higher doses. Avoid driving or other tasks that require you to be alert when you first start taking this drug. Respiratory depression. This is a serious but rare side effect in which your breathing slows or stops. This can be life-threatening and is a major risk when taking high doses of oxycodone. Precautionary measures to take when using oxycodone. Avoid driving or operating heavy machinery. When taken in low doses, oxycodone may not cause drowsiness. However, when taken in high doses, you may experience drowsiness or sleepiness. Avoid driving or operating heavy machinery if you feel drowsy while taking this drug. Eat a healthy diet. Eating a healthy diet that is rich in fiber may help prevent constipation when taking oxycodone. Avoid drinking alcohol. You should avoid drinking alcohol when taking oxycodone, especially in higher doses. Alcohol is known to increase drowsiness and reduce inhibitions, so it is important to avoid it when taking this drug. Avoid taking other medications. 
you should avoid taking other medications that have narcotic or opioid properties when taking oxycodone. This includes certain cough syrups or allergy medications. Minimizing the risks of oxycodone. Avoid mixing this drug with other substances. You should avoid mixing this drug with other substances, such as other opioid drugs, alcohol, antibiotics, antidepressants, antihistamines, and anti-nausea medications. Combining certain substances with oxycodone may lead to serious side effects, such as respiratory depression or overdose. Don't take higher doses. Taking higher doses of oxycodone is not likely to relieve your pain, and it may cause other health issues. Avoid extended release forms. Extended release forms of oxycodone are likely to cause more serious side effects than immediate release forms. Avoid the extended release form if you have certain medical conditions. You should avoid the extended release form of oxycodone if you have certain medical conditions. These include pancreatitis, liver disease, or weakened stomach lining. Avoid the extended release form if you are elderly. This form of oxycodone is particularly risky for elderly patients. Avoid the extended release form if you have a history of drug or alcohol abuse. This form of oxycodone may be more likely to cause respiratory depression, particularly if you have a history of drug or alcohol abuse. Recognizing signs of oxycodone misuse. Using more of the drug than prescribed. You may be misusing oxycodone if you take more of the drug than prescribed. Using the drug for longer than prescribed. You may be misusing oxycodone if you continue to take the drug after you have stopped having pain. Experiencing unexplained changes in mood. You may be misusing oxycodone if your mood suddenly changes for the worse, or if you are unusually happy and cheerful. Appearing drowsy or overly relaxed. You may be misusing oxycodone if you are unusually drowsy or relaxed when taking the drug. Experiencing unexplained weight loss. You may be misusing oxycodone if you are losing weight without trying to. Experiencing unusual financial problems. You may be misusing oxycodone if you are experiencing financial problems without a good explanation. Finding the drug difficult to obtain. If you are having a hard time obtaining oxycodone, you may be misusing it. This may be particularly true if you know that you are not prescribed the drug but are still trying to get it. Alternatives to oxycodone. Sleeping. If you are experiencing chronic pain, sleeping may help reduce your pain. Make sure that you are getting enough rest, though, as sleeping too much may actually worsen your pain. Exercise. Exercising regularly may help reduce your pain and improve your mood. This can be a great way to reduce your pain and improve your quality of life. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. This type of therapy can help you change your thoughts and behaviors related to your pain. This may help reduce your pain and improve your mood. Acupuncture. This traditional Chinese medicine technique involves placing very thin needles along your energy meridians. Thanks for watching.